Hi everyone, it's Christine with Christine's Creative Classroom and I had promised a video on my Happy Planner. I wanted to share with you from start, um, from how I open mine to what I have in mine. You can do it however you like to do it. There's really no right or wrong way. I've just really liked um, getting involved with the Happy Planner from me and my big ideas. So first of all, I wanted to share this beautiful bag that my friend Lisa, hi Lisa, made me. And I've seen a lot of posts. I'm in a couple of the Facebook groups um, for the planner, and a lot of people are talking about how their covers are falling off their binder, um, the arc system, they're losing pages, and some other things. Well, this, it's happening to me as well. However, the nice thing about having everything in this great pouch um, that Lisa made, handmade herself, is that at least everything will be inside this pouch if anything does come off. It helps protect my planner and it's very, very cute and sassy and she makes all kinds of these. I will put a link in uh, the description here on YouTube. And for anyone that's watching this live, uh, Lisa, feel free to go ahead and post your link as well to where people can pick one of these up. It's very sturdy and made just perfectly sized for the Happy Planner. And as you can see, there's even a little bit of extra room. So as my Happy Planner grows, um, the bag will still accommodate the planner. Now, I just want to show you, look how beautiful this is. Even from the very finest detail of the zipper, she put this beautiful little charm on there for me, the little heart charm with the red sparkles. I love this. And the zipper just opens up like this. Here's the lining, which is a nice pretty brown, which matches the outside of my bag. So I'm just going to show you. This is my planner. Now, um, Lisa also made me this cover, there's a clear cover on here, but I'm just going to kind of show you what I have attached to mine. I started a little washi club this past month, and this is the washi tape that I have, and I, I have it on this cute little ring, which comes with my washi kit if you purchase it, and it hooks right inside the Happy Planner, as you can see. I do have the extended rings on mine. And I'm just going to take it off while we do the video just because I want to be able to flip through the pages. But this is just perfect for me because um, I can take this to work with me and then I have washi tape and I don't need to worry about carrying a whole bunch of full rolls with me. And I have all these great designs so I'm not just stuck with using one. Okay, so my friend um, Darlene Morales and Sue Carolfi had made me um, a chunky charm and it got me onto making my own. So I just added my, ch my own chunky charm to my planner and this is one that I've created. And this is just one of those little Tim Holtz attachers. And I've just put on a bunch of different little charms that I like. I like um, nature, so I've got birds on here. There's several leaves. There's some crystals. These are Prima crystals. Um, some more beads. There's a tree on here. Okay. Now, um, here's the cover that Lisa made. Lisa also made me this, this cover. Yes, yeah, she spoils me. She's wonderful. And this is what it looks like on the back. So it's one of those plastic, um, I think it's a file folder or something, I'm not sure. But anyway, she made this for me. And this is another thing that helps hold my planner together and keep my cover attached so that I don't have to worry about anything with that. Now, I made my own planner cover. Um, I love the Gorgeous Girls and the Santoro items. And this is Willow. She is one of the Santoro items. And oh, I'm sorry, this is Maribel, not Willow. And I just typed out, I love quotes, and I typed out this quote that says, All your life, everything that ever happened made you into the incredible person you are, even the hard stuff. 
So I just cut this out of the paper collection that I had and then I laminated it myself and made my own cover. It was very easy to do. I have the, um, the arc punch, which is a must if you're going to have this planner. And then I have this cutesy, cutesy tootsy little clip here that I love, which was from Michael's. I'm going to do my best to tell you where I got everything from. So if there's anything I can help you to find, I'm more than happy to do that. I believe in sharing and not, you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't like to do that. But I know when I see something I really like, I want to know where people got it from. So um, this is my planner cover. And... I got from Staples, this is one of those post-it envelopes, and I've just started to decorate it a little bit, and I just have some personal information behind here, which is why I put this piece of paper here so no one can see it, and then I used um, Prima journal cards, and I just have personal banking information on the back of my cards. So I don't mean to flip really fast, but I don't really want to share all of my, all of my stuff here. So um, this is just one of those. It's sticky on the back, so it's awesome. And I just put it right inside my cover. Okay, so here is my, um, my hello page. And I found my name in, in bling. I've had it. I've been moving my scrap room. So I actually had this. Didn't even have to purchase it and just glued it right into my um, into my planner. And as I said, I love nature, so I put a little pond scene down here. I love hot air balloons, so I put a little hot air balloon. And then I have Daisy Washi Tape on here. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me, um, and I've seen a lot of discussions, do you plan ahead with your planner? Do you plan um, after you've done something? Well. I thought about it and when you look through my planner with me you're going to see that I actually do both. Keep in mind there's no right or wrong way of doing this. It's whatever works best for you and that's that's how I'm working it. So here's the first page. Now the planner that I had was the one um, good things are going to happen. So mine's a little bit different on the inside than a lot of the other ones. I know the other planners have pretty much all the same pages on the inside, so this is um, the different one. Good things are going to happen. And one more thing about my cover, this is the Mirabelle, and it is in my it is in my store. So I'll post a link to my store. If there's something I have for the planner that you'd like to get, you'll be able to pick it up from my store. I'll tell you what I get from Amazon. I'll tell you what I get from Lisa. Um, wherever I get anything. Okay, so my, my first page says, we'll look back and smile because it was life and we decided to live it. So I just decorated this again with the Daisy Washi Tape. I hope you can see this. Now, I'm, I don't mean to scare you. I'm, I really like busy pages, okay? So this is what I did. So this is, I might pull some of these pages off as well, just so um, you can see them a little bit better. But I did actually get mine in time to start for July. And what I did to start with was I put in any, any big days. Anything that I knew was going to happen. So obviously the 4th of July. So I put um, the USA in there. I put... Uh, my friend Darlene's birthday in here. Her birthday was here. Um, my mom's birthday. I put in here just anything that I needed to know. And I did all of that in blue. So then I went back and I'm like, oh wow, this is really empty. So I thought it would be fun to find different um, days. So I went online and I googled wacky holidays. And July 12th was Etch-A-Sketch Day. So I put a picture that I Googled on the internet of an Etch-A-Sketch, and I just wrote Happy 4th of July in it. Um, July 21st was Junk Food Day, and my favorite junk food 
was um, or is Lay's potato chips, so I put that there. I just started doing a little bit of fun journaling in some empty spots, and I put by my hot air balloon, fly high. These little check marks, and I'll show you some other things, are a Me and My Big Idea sticker package. Um, I have some flight information. My mom was coming from Florida, so I just Googled a picture of an airplane, cut it out, and glued it on. And then I put her flight information on the day. And again, where my, where my um, boxes were empty, I just started writing fun things because July was the 4th of July, Independence Day and all that. I started to write out the lyrics to um, the Star Spangled Banner and I just wrote, oh say can you see? And then I put in the rocket's red glare. And I'm gonna go into and show you what pens and everything I use and how I adhere everything, but I just wanna give you a quick look at what I did. Um, again, just Googled pictures. You guys, you don't have to pay for stickers. Um, I see a lot of people making stickers and selling stickers on Etsy, and I'm not trying to down their businesses or anything, but I know that a lot of people need, you know, they're not in the same position financially as others, and you still want to have nice pages, and you love to do this. Google whatever it is you're looking for, cut out the picture, use a glue stick, and put it in your book. That's what I've done here. I've also joined a great, great group on Facebook, Me and My Big Ideas um, Free Planner Printables. There's great people over there who share so many freebies that you can print out on sticker paper or regular paper, and it, it's just awesome the way people are sharing. So, um, again, I've used washi tape. I love quotes and journaling prompts and things like that. So I just put some words, the word believe, on top of my washi tape. July 23rd was hot dog day, so I just cut out a picture of a hot dog. I used um, some arrows to decorate. These are just all stickers. I, I had major cleaning done, so I cut out a picture of a cleaning lady um, pushing a vacuum. Put it in my put it in my book. So this is the month spread. So now we get into the dailies. Um, and at first, and this planner piece thing is so true. It's so hard to find something that you love and that works for you. And I never in a million years would have thought that this would have been something that worked for me. And it totally does. It's just enough. Um, I still have room for fun stuff. So my first, my first week, this was, yes, this, so this was um, July 1st. I love pinwheels, so I found these really cute, fun pinwheel stickers at Michael's, so I put one in there. Um, my to-dos I tend to put in the first box, and then I started um, thinking, I want to kind of focus on a word a week. So I just kind of thought about what I was going through that week, and the very first week for me was all about worrying. I was just worrying about a lot of different things. So I, I found this quote on the internet, and it says, Sometimes the best thing you can do is not think, not wonder, not imagine, not obsess. Just breathe. Have faith that everything will work out for the best. And then wherever I had blank spots, I just looked up the word worry, on the dictionary online and I just started writing definitions to the word. So um, I had some appointments here so I just used, I googled a clock online and I just printed it out and I put it inside my book. I had some phone calls to make so again I just googled a telephone and printed it out on sticker paper, put it in my book. Um, okay then the rest of the week which, oh, we have a, this was a printable, a free printable on that Me and My Big Ideas free planter, free planter printables page. Try to say that really fast. Um, and it just says weekend. So I had a, I thought that looked really cute to put there. And then we have a carnival here in our, in our area. So for the 4th of July. So I did this little picture of myself. Look at how cute you guys. Can you see that? This is me wearing a little top hat. It's one of those little characters. 
and I printed it out and I put it on here and I'm going to show you the printer that I use for this because I love it but I just want to keep going while we're in the flow here. I don't want this video to be super long but I will talk to everyone at the end here. Um, okay, here's the second week of July. Some of my charms are falling off. I have to put those back on. I just thought this little girl was so cute. I used some of my favorite gel highlighters which I have in my store. Um, and just colored her up a little bit. Um, I put a mailbox if I was shipping out any orders. I, I sent a, a fun little package to my friend Darlene. So I wrote to Darlene on the mailbox and just stuck it inside my planner. Um, anything, what I did, anytime I had a to-do, I wrote it in my planner. And after I completed the task, I highlighted it so I knew it was finished and then also if I ever need to go back because I'm so busy here you know busy as in I like my layouts busy I can look for the highlighted areas and be like okay that was something that I did um, the second week I used my word was was think so I just wrote definitions to the of the word think um, and just put, you know, I have every, enjoy every minute sticker here. Um, I had my, my bathroom painted, so I just wrote what the cost of that was and put it as a little extra note. So again, you can use things, you can cut things up, little pieces of paper and punch them, and you don't have to use the full page and just use three and put it anywhere in your planner that you like. So this, this was fun. I had an eye doctor's appointment, so I had these cute little eye glass stickers. So I put that in there. Um, just grocery shopping, cleaning my craft room, start my washi club. That's pretty much all I did. Doctor's appointments. This was a fun, fun page. Um, I really like this. I know a lot of people don't like the big eyed girls. I do. So I have a set of CDs of Sherry Baldi's crafting CDs. So I'm not stealing images or anything like that. I know a lot of people get a little bit crazy about stuff like that. Um, I believe in cop, you know, protecting copyrights. Everyone deserves their recognition for things, which is why I always try to share whenever I do anything or find anything. These are Sherry Baldy images and I purchased them from a CD called Crafting. They're my besties, they're called, and they're craft CDs. They come with a number of images on them and you can print them out and size them however you like, which is what I did here. So um, I just kind of focused on using her and decorated and again just put all of my things, all of my um, to-dos after I finished them, I highlighted them off. I cut little pieces of um, scrapbooking paper to fill half boxes just to decorate a little bit. As I'm moving forward, I'm getting a little bit better with the decorating. Um, so I advise anybody who's thinking, oh, I'm not good at this, I'm not a crafter, I'm not a scrapbooker, just try it. Give it a, give it a go and you're fine. It's whatever you want to make of it. Now, my word for the work week here was respect, so I just kind of wrote, I found respect stickers. I just kind of started writing different things about the word um, respect. I downloaded a couple more images off of my CD from Sherry Baldi, and I had a, a tree sticker. So I just, I just pretty much kept doing what I've been doing, just decorating away. Um, oh, and I just want to show you that you can truly use anything at all in your own stash. You don't have to be running out buying things all the time. This heart right here, it says, stay true to who you are, embrace your self-esteem. I got this from a piece of clothing that I purchased. It was a shirt. I paid $5 for the shirt, and this, this was a part of the tag. So again, just look at things, look at tags, look at magazines, look at newspapers, look at your clothing, look at food labels, look at, 
just anything wherever you are that you see pa anything paper or cloth and that's what I started doing and look at how cute it is in my planner. Um, I'm also a part of a Facebook group pocket letter pals and I'm one of the people who you know don't hate me I take apart my pocket letters. Someone sent me a pocket letter and this was one of the squares inside my pocket letter. So I want to be able to look at this. I don't want to have it just sitting around somewhere. So I took, um, I took, took it, the card right out of my pocket planner and put it right, or my, I'm sorry, my pocket page. Am I saying that right? Pocket letter pals. That's what it is. So I took, I've, I've traded some pocket letters with people and I've used cards that I really, really like and I put it inside my planner. Um, I went off of, I'm a huge Coca-Cola addict. Um, on July 20th, I went off of drinking pop. So I printed out a picture of a Coke can and put an X on it, meaning I didn't have any pop that day. And I'm happy to say to this day, I still have not had one. So you're going to see a pop can on every single one of my pages with a red X through it. And this actually helps to keep me not drinking it because I think to myself, I can go on here and I can put my Coke can on there and put a red X on there and it just, it just makes me feel good. So um, this week I just wanted to put a bunch of words in my planner. So anytime I found any kind of word, I put, I put it inside here. Um, now, this week, I also started doing Throwback Thursday. So where I always like to try to post my Throwback Thursday pictures on Facebook, I'm also putting them in my planner. So this was a picture of when my dogs were pups. And they're 12 and 7 right now, so that's a throwback pics of them. And you guys, you can see... That as I'm going through this planner, this um, this cover that Lisa made me is really helping to hold everything in for me because I'm not losing my pages. So again, Lisa, thank you so much for sending me that. I love it. Um, we went to a Chinese restaurant. I put my fortune inside here. So I even included that inside my planner. So at the end of the week, I was on day seven with no pop. Um, the next week, another new thing that I started to do using this little calendar up at the top is I started circling dates that were dates that I needed to remember something. Because as I said, you know, my stuff is pretty busy, so I can look up here and say to myself, oh, I need to go over to, you know, August 12th or whatever and take a look at that because it's circled. Um, these were lilies that were growing in my in my yard, so I took a picture of that and put it there. Uh, my mom's birthday, so we took a picture of her. And then my throwback picture, throwback Thursday picture was of my boys. I put this card, um, this is actually a gift card from TJ Maxx, obviously. And I just asked them if I could take one without putting any money on it. And the, they kind of looked at me like, okay, what are you talking about? Why would you want one without any, money, without any money on it? And I told them I'm a crafter. And I just wanted to put it in my planner. And the manager was like, go ahead and take it. So I did. Um, I love Dr. Seuss. So I cut out a little picture of Dr. Seuss. And this is one of my favorite sayings today you are you that is truer than true there is no one alive who is youer than you so i cut out a picture of dr seuss and i i just highlighted the words that i wanted to with the with the red um, these are some more flowers that were blooming outside my house and then i found this quote in a magazine i believe it was a family circle or something and it says i just say whatever comes to my mind and then I just kind of wrote, I'm the one who doesn't tell you what you want to hear, but tells you what you need to hear. So that's the love me or leave me type of thing, I guess you can say. 
Um, and then I just kind of wrote things next to next to some of my pictures. I wrote Throwback Thursday next to the boys, and I put their smiles mean the world to me. So I kind, I'm kind of journaling in this as well. Now we're moving into September, or I'm sorry, August. So as you can see, I'm still filling this page out, which is your currently page. Um, I haven't put what I'm reading yet because I really haven't chosen anything to read yet. Um, planning, what I'm planning is my daily journal set up. What I'm watching, I'm watching Switched at Birth on Netflix. Drinking, I put no Coke. Crafting, I'm actually um, crocheting blankets, so I just put that there. Um, this is something from me and my big ideas, and it's one of those dashboards, and it has all of the little sticky notes. I, I put that inside my planner. And then this was something fun that I did. These notepads are also from me and my big ideas, and I just score taped them to the back of my dashboard. So that note that I showed you at the very beginning, which showed um, where I put how I was having my bathroom painted and all that, I just literally took it off of this page right here and then popped it in the planner. My friend Cindy sent me this, I, I love Wonder Woman, and she sent me a card, and the card said she needed a hero, so she became one. And I just love this so much, I just laminated it and put it inside my planner. So now I can take it out at the beginning of the month, um, the planner starter starting month, which was in July. I had it in July, and I'm just moving this to every every single month because it's something I want to look at. And that's what I love about this system. Now some of the pages were, were blank and I didn't want to look at the blank pages so again I love quotes. So I found this quote and I just printed it out and it's about hope. And I, I just score taped it on here. Now this was the first week of August which was obviously this last week and this is an example of how I'm not finished yet with this week. So tomorrow I'm going to go back and I'm going to fill things in. So I put, um, I love these, I love these little, these little quotes, so I put these in here. Um, again, it was a word week for me, so I, I just started writing words. Um, by my hot air balloon, I put, what if I fall? And then I put, oh, but what if I fly? Um, I put strength, Strength to endure pain, wisdom to think things through, courage to face fears. And I just kind of put stuff, um, my dog had a, vet's, a vet appointment, so I put the little clock. And then here's where I have another one of those little characters that I'll show you. That's me. Um, this is... Just another fun little thing I just put, this was my husband and my first date back when we were 13, so we've been together 38 years, so I just put our initials inside a little heart here. Um, my son came home from South Carolina, so I, again I put the airplane. Um, this was a cute little picture that I found online, and so I printed it with my printer, and again I'll show you that in a few minutes. And then I put uh, one of my other favorite quotes, time is like a river, you cannot touch the same water twice because the flow that has passed will never pass again. So I'm just, I'm using it for quotes. It's, it's not so much of a um, to-do type of thing, although I do have a lot of things to do. So I'm going to show you what I did find, some fun things. Um, let's just move forward a little bit. This is where I started thinking, okay, people have been asking me, do you do things in advance? And I'm like, no, I don't really think I do. Well, look, this is August 3rd through August 9th. So obviously I am behind except for my, my Coke cans, which I did not have any pop as of um, today, which is day 20. I'm day 20 without that. So... I love the gorgeous girls, so I just again printed out a picture, put it in here. This is a gorgeous playing card. So I've got to go back and fill things in, which I'm going to do. And then this is my next week. And 
as I'm cleaning my scrap room, I found these older but really, really super cute fairies. So this is what I've done. I've uh, just put the little fairies in there and then some washi tape that matches it. Keep it, keep it honest, keep it simple, keep it real. And then over here, um, I put surround yourself with the dreamers and the doers, the believers and the thinkers. But most of all, surround yourself with those who see greatness within you, even when you do not see it within yourself. So this was another fun thing. I loved doing this layout. And now I can go back and I can add my to-dos and anything else that I have to do for the week. And I found these cards on Amazon. And this is just going to work better for me than to be writing it in all my busy areas. So the card says things to do. It's got a priority order of importance and then a little box where you can check it off where you're, when you're done. And it is double-sided. So this is perfect. You can put them anywhere in your planner. And I've just punched them in different spots so that the one thing you want to remember with the arc system, if I start putting them all in the exact same spot, you're going to get a thickness in just one layer. And you don't want to do that. You kind of want it to be even throughout. So I, I started punching some where I can put them up here. So you just want to, when you put them in, you just want to go back and forth a little bit so that you're keeping the thickness of your planner a little bit even. So, um, again, here's my husband and I's anniversary of our first day. Here's another picture that I printed out with a quote on it for the next few weeks. And just if there was something that I found that I wanted to keep, I'm saving it. So I put a little keep a song in your heart because I like that as well. Now, again, an, anniver an anniversary. I went through my whole planner and put in birthdays and anniversaries so I wouldn't forget. And then I made this bookmark, which matches my planner cover. And this was from the pad of paper that I have in my store. And again, this is the Mirabelle. And it's actually a piece. It, it wasn't hard at all. It was one of those, um, it was kind of like a sleeve that fit over the paper pack. So all I had to do literally was cut it out, I inked it, and then I decorated it on the back. And what I like to do with this is I like to put this one in the next month. So if I need to, to slip over to the next month, I have it here. So you guys, this is my planner setup, and it's working really well for me. Um, I'm still experimenting. I never ever did a planner before. So if you're brand new like me, this just goes to show you that you can do this. It's a lot of fun. It's um, a way of remembering things, not even to do's and things like that, but you can always look back on this and just read through your stuff and it's kind of a lot of fun. And I'm really enjoying it. And I wanna show you quickly, I'm just going back through here. Um, again, this is, this is my cover, the Mirabelle cover, and Lisa made me this holder. I did laminate my tabs. All I did was I took a full laminating sheet and I put um, the tab in the very top section where it's sealed, and I put the whole page through my laminator and it came out perfect. So now I'm just going to show you a couple things of what I use uh, that are my favorite. I purchased um, the Kipling pen holder. Yes, I'm also a pen addict, obviously, because I'm a planner person. And I'm going to show you, I keep other things than just pens in here. And yeah, I know it's stuffed full. Um, the pens that I'm using in my planner are the Uniball Vision Elite. These are, the, these are the ones that I'm using, and I'm also using the Uniball Signo, Signo pens. These are my gel highlighters that I was telling you about. These are my absolute favorite highlighters. Um, I have a separate video on these on my YouTube channel, so if you like my channel, that would be great. Um, what I love about these, immediately, as I show in my video, you can immediately 
highlight over anything that you've written and your ink will not smear with these. I love these. I have probably only 10 sets of these left if you're interested. Make sure you grab a set. Um, I also have a little Sharpie marker in here in case I want to write something. Don't not use your Sharpie markers. If you need to use something, you know, if you want to use your Sharpie markers, write it on a separate piece of paper and glue it into your planner. So this way you're not limited to having to just use a certain set of pens. Um, my favorite, favorite glue stick. These are in my store. And I'm going to tell you the reason why I love this is because it's triangular in shape. So it really helps you get into the corners of things without making a mess. The top is awesome because it fits into the bottom and it's how you raise your glue stick and how you lower your glue stick. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite glue stick. Um, I have some ink in here. I want to experiment with planner stamping. I have not done that yet. And then I, I just, I love gel pens. So I've got other gel pens. These are friction gel pens that I need to experiment with. Another thing that you should have is little whiteouts. Um, these are the tape whiteouts for when you make mistakes. And I have a pair of scissors in here. So I love using my um, Kipling case. And as you can see, it is chuck full. So the, this is a lot of fun. And you do, I do have to put stuff in there correctly or it's not going to close. Okay. And this is pretty stuffed too, you guys, so um, it holds a lot. So that's something that I use. Um, okay, so I promise you I would show you the pictures that you saw in my planner. These are the size. This is my puppy. This is the size of the pictures, um, and these are going in my, this is actually a bracelet that I have. It's an Alex and Ani, and my thing has been, it is what it is. So that's what this is a picture of. I took that. Here's a picture of my husband and I that I'm going to put in there. Um, and it, this is going to be a throwback Thursday for me for this week. This is of my parents a long time ago. So what I use to print that, those, Look at it, I got a cute little bag. Is this pogo printer from Amazon? I got this on Amazon and it's my new, new favorite toy. And it's super, super easy to use. Um, I'm going to print a picture. Hopefully, it's going to work. I'm just going to show you how easy this is. So, again, this is from Amazon. And I have an iPhone. And all you have to do is Download the app onto your iPhone, and you guys, I am not techie at all, so if I can do this, you can do this. You just go to your settings on your phone. Watch this. This is so cool. Okay, and you just want to connect your printer after you download the app, which it walks you through very, very easy. Okay, so now it's telling me that I'm connected. Now I'm going to go to my, my photos on my iPhone. And I'm just going to pick up, or I'm sorry, I'm not going to go to my photos on my iPhone. I screwed that up. I'm going to the app that you need to download with this, which is called Pocket Photo. Super duper easy. You just go to your camera roll. And I'm going to print this picture out of myself. Now watch this. All you literally have to do is hit print. Whoops. I changed the picture. Hold on. So I'm going to hit the print button in the corner and it says, do you want to print this photo? And I'm going to say, okay. It says it's sending the photo to the printer. Now I've got two buttons flashing on my printer and it's telling me on my phone starting to print. Now watch what happens. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it printing. And again, the pictures are a little bit um, 
a little bit big for some of the boxes. They just overhang a little bit, but I've got room where I can cut some of them down still. So here comes the picture out of my printer. I spoiled myself and bought this for myself because I haven't bought anything in a long, long time. Um, I want to say, oh, I, you guys, I can't even guess on how much it is, honestly. But what's really cool about it is the paper has the ink inside the paper. Okay, look at it. So here's my picture. Done. It didn't take very long. And literally all you do with this, it's on and off right here. There's a little button that opens. And when you put a new pack of paper in, you have to put this little scan code thing right on the bottom. This is the paper, and the paper has the ink on the paper. So there's no ink cartridges or anything. I This is my very newest, most favorite ever techie toy because I'm not very techie and I can use it. So that, in a nutshell, is my happy planner. Very quickly, I'm going to show you one more thing. I am making journals. Same exact system. I found this amazing, listen, this is thicker than the Happy Planner cover, and it's not even laminated. And I'm going to find a favorite um, picture of mine, and I'm going to put it on here, and I'm going to do my listing and my prompts for every day of the month inside my, an actual journal now because I've loved the Happy Planner Arc system. Um, I, that will be in another video. I'm going to need a week or so to actually do that. I'm going to get my discs that I want and the paper that I want to put inside of it. But I'm going to show you how you can literally make your own just like I made my own cover for my planner. And again, you guys, in order to hold everything together, and as you can see, nothing fell apart. And I owe that all to Lisa because of not only her planner cover that she sent me, but this amazing bag. Because even if anything does fall out of my planner, it's going to be inside of my bag. And the bag is going to protect everything, hold it all in one place. These are awesome. She did a fantastic job on this. She's a sewer. I am not. So if you have a happy planner, um, happy planner, I would suggest you purchase one of these bags if you're having a problem where any of your pages are falling out or you're having any kind of an issue. So I just want to say thank you for um, watching my video. And again, I'll put links down below where you can find things, um, the bag from Lisa, and you can run over to my store where I have a few things for my happy planner. Thank you.